Hey, what's up guys? Dan from Delicate Detailing here. I just kind of want to go ahead and kind of do a quick little rant, blow off some steam and quick. Um, been getting quite a bit of negative feedbacks on older videos that I've done of like basic uh, consumer grade wax results after like uh, 30 days and 60 days. For one, they're consumer grade products, so what do you guys expect? They're basically the end of their durability. So when you guys are expecting like crazy amounts of beating or surface tension or uh, just results on one, a consumer grade product and two, at the end of its durability, it's just not too realistic. And then you guys are commenting saying there's no product there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a product with no... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and find you guys, because uh, all my vehicles are coated or uh, protected at least somehow, but the Dodge Journey, uh, when it, it's going to rain here today or tomorrow, and uh, the Dodge Journey, I've, as you guys have seen in my uh, latest test, I've only protected the hood, so I'm going to go around and take you to the roof and show you guys uh, a true panel with actual no protection on it. And actually this is just the Journey pulling up here, so if it starts raining, I'll be able to do that for you. Okay, sorry about that, I just had a little disruption from my mom coming in in the journey, obviously. Okay, now getting back to that point, yeah, okay, I'll show you a, a true panel with no protection on it, and honestly, there won't be any beading, there won't be any sheeting, basically run down it flat, and it won't leave any marks or whatever, because it just sits there so long. Actually, some products do leave uh, watermarks after it's uh, beaded, because that bead actually ends up, um, that, be uh, that mineral water bead, ends up drying into the paint and leaving a circle mineral deposit. Anyways, moving on, then there was another, uh, we had another comment saying I don't take uh, this, this YouTube channel seriously. I do take it seriously. I have a full-time job. I work over 40 hours a week, and then we have our business on the side, which usually takes up our weekends. So I usually do, the, do these uh, YouTube videos either in between details uh, when I get home from a long day or when I'm washing the car at uh, basically whenever I can. We don't get any profit really. Uh, we do monetize our uh, our videos but I think if check we made four dollars over our 45 videos. So I put hours and hours into this content just in, uh, in making this content and then hours and hours in editing so I really don't appreciate these guys don't saying I don't take this seriously when I pour probably four or five hours uh, a, a week just in filming and then editing's on top of that. And uh, uh, another thing with the videos is, as a, another thing with the videos, I've been, I also haven't been able to get them out because in my free time I've been doing a little bit of uh, modifications to the Genesis, if you've been following us on Instagram. I did tail lights and honestly it's been, I've spent four, probably four months messing around with these tail lights. Uh, they didn't I found out that uh, Hyundai under factory uh, warranty work Hyundai actually uh, ended up siliconing in my stock tail lights, so I could not get them out for the longest time. I actually, go had to go pay them to rip them out. They finally ripped them out, and then I tried to put in my aftermarket tail lights, and then they fit like crap. So then I went to put in my stock tail lights back in, and then they fit like crap. Long story short, in two Hyundai's and two hundred and eighty dollars later, they fit, but they ended up stripping the tail lights again. So I just did it myself. There's no water leakage, and the tail lights are right as of right now. But as soon as I got that cleared up, my driver's side headlight is now leaking, and now I'm trying to fix that. It's been one thing after another. Not to mention, I just got my new wheels that I've been waiting four months for, and then I've been waiting four months specifically to the, for the rears. They had to be made uh, for, my, uh, for the size of my car, uh, 19 by 9.5. I know that's not all too aggressive, but they only came in the one offset, so I had to basically get what I could get. And then I actually got those and was pretty disappointed because it's the, not, uh, the one rear wheel is in pretty, okay, I'd say decent shape. And then the other rear wheel is there's paint chips on it. Then it looks like it's been touched up by some type of touch-up pen. Then there's paintbrush marks on it from some uh, the guy doing the touch-up pen and messing up on that. Then there's also uh, where they drilled the holes for the bull pattern. There's uh, chips on all around that. And they tried to touch up a pen with that. So they clearly knew about it and then they just tried to fix it. Well, you guys knowing me being an anal and as obsessive as I am and being a detailer, I picked that out, that out instantly. So now apparently I'm getting rear wheels made again, but I've been, I ordered these four months ago and it is now August and I haven't even got them on yet. So I'll probably be getting them on the next week or two 
and then probably save the new rears for next year. But like I said guys, I've been dealing through one thing after another and then still trying to edit and put out as much videos for you guys as possible. Not to mention doing certification training. This year we've been uh, certified by IGL Coatings and a couple months ago I went to a FenLab training course too. So there's been all of this on top of everything else. It's just been crazy. So please guys understand if I've been a little frustrated in the videos or my commenting, I I've been a little frustrated through my comments. Please understand why. Hey, what's up guys? Dan from Delicate Detailing here. Just proving basic, uh, just basically proving you guys wrong, or not all of you, just some of the haters uh, that just posting uh, one of my first videos I did on the Genesis Coupe, and I think it was just Chemical Guys Butter Wet Wax, which lasts basically a month, and I posted results base, uh, just uh, um, after a month, maybe two months, and this was basically the results, which, you know, it's not great, but it, product is still there. I don't care what you say, product is still there. And I believe that was rejects about just two months out or so. And this is rejects about a month out or so. And then I'm going to take you guys to the, ho or to the roof where I have done absolutely nothing for since we bought the car. And there's nothing there. And that is no product ever. And it's just, there's nothing beading. It's just like a, basically a pool of water coming off. You know, there's a little bit of beads around the edges. But that's just from water build up and then can't really pull away because there isn't enough water there and it's not raining that hard anymore. So rejects about one month out, probably a little bit longer. Rejects two months out, probably a little bit longer. Absolutely nothing. So I hope this stops with all the comments with those year old videos just basically talking trash. I'm here to show you guys the actual actual results, uh, change them at all just to get the best video for you guys. I want real world results and that's why I'm doing this video. So please, please guys, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and hopefully that puts that to a rest.